In this video, I'll explain how you can use the unique tool to remove duplicates in all tricks. I started out with creating a quick data set uh, with the text input tool, uh, which contains a date, a name of a salesperson, how much they've sold, and in what particular category they've sold it. And in this video, I want to illustrate how you can use the unique tool to, du to remove duplicates but also to highlight what the unique tool is actually doing in all tricks. Uh, we can find the unique tool in the preparation part of all tricks. So if we click on preparation and all the way at the end we can find unique. Um, if we bring the unique um, in the canvas, uh, we can see it has two outputs, uh, a U and a D, which stands for a unique and a duplicate. And what this will do is that it, it basically parses out um, data into two streams, the unique and the duplicates. So let's um, start doing that. So we can see we have uh, dates and the name of the salespeople and the salespeople are being repeated in this data set. So let's find um, unique um, salespeople. So if I click on name and I add a browse after both of my um, outputs and I run this, we can see it found five unique values, which is kind of correct because we can see we have five salespeople um, and then it starts again from the top to the bottom. So what Alteryx is actually doing here is it picks the first five items based on my selection. So I've selected name and then it picked the very first five where the names are unique. However, this means that um, this is the unique based on name and not on, for example, um, if you want to see it by sales. So if you, for example, first want to see the highest sales and then um, the particular salespeople. So how can we do that? So let's first illustrate this, what, what Alteryx is actually doing by using a tool called the record ID. So if we bring the record ID just in front of the unique, um, the record ID will just add a, a, a 1 uh, to each row, so it will add a, an ID to each row. So if I run this, we can now see that, uh, if I click on this, um, that we have uh, 15 records. And if we go to the unique, based on name, we can see uh, we have as well 5 records here. Um, the unique tool reordered this, so the name, um, this is alphabetically sorted automatically. Um, however, what we actually want to do is we want to find, so if I go to my data set, we can see that some of the salespeople have really high sales in later years or earlier years. So for example, you can see this one has like sales in 1990, that's really high. So we want to actually find the highest um, sales first, followed by removing duplicates or finding unique values. So we can do that by first using the sort tool. So you kind of always use the sort tool in combination with unique. So if I bring sort and I bring it in front of the duplicates of the unique tool, we need to configure this. So we're going to say we want to use the sales uh, field and we want to say the top sales uh, on the top for, and then all the way going down. So if I now run this, we can go to, um, um, let's put this on name, sorry, and in here we can now see, if we go to the output, that the highest sales is at the top and the lower sales is at the bottom. Um, we then use the unique to look for unique salespeople, so that means if I now uh, run this and go to this, you can now see this returns the highest sales for each salesperson. I um, hope this makes sense. Um, um, what I always do is, uh, together with the unique tool, I use a sort tool. So for example, you could also sort on date. So if you want to find the latest sales date per uh, salesperson, you would rather change the sales into, say, date. And then you want to say descending, if you run it then. It should give us in here the latest sales for each person. Um, so let me see if I actually have. So if I go bring in a select tool, and 
this uh, date is actually a string so let's see if we can make that a date and let's run it again ah, that's actually not a valid date but yeah you could if you um, change this to a valid date uh, you can do that with a different tool called uh, the date uh, time tool for example um, you can then sort this on date as well uh, hopefully this was uh, useful and I'll probably see you in the next video.